Even bronze to Lowry definitions for acids and bases have limitations. This checkpoint offers additional information that you do not need to know for the topic of equilibria. It is easy to find limitations by finding exceptions to the rules. For example, an ionic oxide such as Na2O, it reacts with water to produce two hydroxide ions. But there is no proton transfer to sodium, yet it increases the basicity of the solution. How can we account take into account compounds like Na2O being basic. So we further expand the definition of acids and bases to a new definition called Lewis acids and bases. Let's look at the mechanism of how Na2O reacts with water. Na2O is an ionic compound, so it is a collection of Na plus ions and O2 minus ions in a crystal, in a crystal lattice. When dissolved in water, O2 minus ions attack water, which subsequently breaks up to form hydroxide ions. What has happened to the O2- and H2O? The O2- has donated an electron pair to H. The H atom has accepted an electron pair from O2-. This movement of electron pairs forms the basis of Lewis' definition of acids and bases. An acid is an electron pair acceptor, and a base is an electron pair donor. So in this, in this example, O2- is a base, and the H atom, or by extension the water molecule, is an acid. This definition of acids and bases again encompasses the other definitions of acids and bases, and obviously it has to, because otherwise it won't be any more a valid definition than the previous one. If we look at HCl reacting with water, the lone pair of electron on the O is being donated to the H in HCl. This definition of acids and bases will be more useful in other parts of chemistry. In equilibria, we are concerned with mainly bronsted acids and bases, as the definition suits our needs just fine.